Outside, heavy snow, surprisingly, with temps in the 20s. The good news, we are inside AT&T Stadium in Arlington, and tonight it's the first of our college football playoff semifinal matchups, as we'll see the Oregon Ducks taking on the LSU Tigers. What's up, bro? Good luck tonight. Thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. Thanks. He's a lot. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Little words of encouragement from Patrick Mahomes. The right to play for a national championship next Monday night in Santa Clara. We are underway from Arlington Let's go, in Tiger. the national playoff semifinal. Fielded about Good a block. yard deep. And those uniforms look beautiful. Really? So that's what they mean by limited playbook, I guess. Here we go, his first collegiate snap. What a spot as the Tigers come up first and 10. Where's he going? Why is he running two routes? They will let him throw here on the very first play. Flushed out right. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. How did he so have two yards? Is the pickup there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Are we? I'm not sure. They'll run here with Deku. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Like, what is that? Why does he have two routes? Here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Why Huge he... difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. So where is square? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten players. We have ten players on the field. Where is square? From the 45 on second down, McCoy. Rush coming, and he's taken down. And there they bring pressure from the inside, and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And this Yo, play, what? <laughs> someone did not get blocked. <laughs> He's the one who got home. Wow. There's McCoy. I'm not sure what you can really do Eluding in this situation. Like, right. We're missing a whole now play. Now going to go up top over the middle. We're missing a whole play. Up incomplete. Bold play call there. I'm not now sure if he's glitching down. or what. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a power. But does that supposed to happen? But why would it supposed to happen? Like it has when to be glitch. When you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Great punt. Let's go, boys! Bring it up. That's crazy. Here's a first and ten, Oregon. Now a hand uh, here. We can't let him get out of there. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. Gardner, I think that play echoed a short yardage run. I know they're backed against their own goal line, but. When they stack the defensive oh, line like that, if you find any down. type of a crease, you're up to the third level before you know it. Is Greedy Williams yeah, not, not on the field? To speak of there, so bring him down shy of the 20. Three yards on the pick up there, and it'll no be second down. No Greedy It went right back to him, but he pretty much So the guys that were that actually got the drafted, the they're not on the team? Good. That one Either? Was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? I feel like they should at least have the guys that got drafted last season, like on the team. That you, you know, they should. I feel like they should be able to play with you at least. Like how 2K does it when they, when you go through college, like it's like you still playing against the guys that got drafted at least. I feel like they should have done that. Good hit. LSU Tiger defense. I see you guys. 
whoever you are. Not how he wanted to start his night. First made up, but I mean, hey, good job. Yeah, it's not easy, but he's got to try and wipe that one away from the memory bank. So let's face it. Okay, we're full team this time. And a defensive back have a lot in Maybe it might have just been that time. Because they have these individual type Nobody's plays, open. They've got to have short memories, don't they? DB gets beat. Nobody is open. Find a receiver and he's brought down. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. So after the sack, here's second and 14. Now Dekoud. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. Okay. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Throwing on third and long. McCoy. Good job. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Okay. A good throw there, but boy, a tough situation for this offense, for this program, really. When you think about it, Marcus Washington, four-year starter, came in as a true freshman to lead this team. He's third all the time. And touchdown. He will take this in. Touchdown, LSU. Kelvin Brooks, 45 yards. And LSU has taken the early lead. Great pass. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. After the touchdown, the LSU nice Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. Bruce uh, That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Just wanted to hit him, let him, let him know that we here, you know. <laughs> the intimidation factor. The Oregon offense set to begin their next possession. They had the interception last time. Terry and led to the and Thibodeau, touchdown. actually, all so of these down the names. The score as they start first pretty cool. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. The loss of a full three yards. Yeah, and now football right there, guys. Can't run it as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. They've had touchdowns on both of their drives thus far, but now they face a third and long. After one, they don't seven have a touchdown. Nothing. Audie Sports. Back with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and our drive continues here to start quarter number two. Now Birch. They Good got job, defense. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your oh, balance and Good keep job. him away from Living your guy trying to throw the football. A very good return that time. 18 yards. The offense for LSU back out there, ready to go. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start playing wow, for this that drive, was my fault. when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that, that, that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters Where is because it? you know Where's they'll make some adjustments. Like, oh, is he not on the field? From the start. That they must be who we're missing when it's glitching. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think it. about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys that they were under pressure again, and down no, he brother. goes again. Well, they went with a the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down, you bring in so the nickel package. Street. Just as you so apparently, like I'm not sure if he's just hurt or not in the game or what. 
But, I mean, I don't see what's, what's the point of us doing drills and getting ready to go with each other and then he's just not play, you know? So I'm assuming, like, since he actually is a, a character in the game, that it's just glitching. I think that's just a Madden glitch that it has. Things started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, okay, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big-time play and break through the barrier. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. No, oh, you gotta pick that. Good hit though. Great hit. Down, but this time it's incomplete. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time ends up leading him just to go back to man. Looks like I'm in defense. So the no point. To connect on second down that leaves him staring up here at a third. And DBU. 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 He's picked off just shy of midfield. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everyone's LSU looking, DBU. he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. They go play action here on first down. Oh. Ah. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So he can't hang on, and Trying as I watch a little it, bit too I much of that. remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, no chance at all. Way easier said than done. 16 yards, a first down. Now that was an excellent run, and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. The block. Linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, so they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. I'd have to say that's a pretty darn good run right there. They had seven, what, eight in the box, still able to burn them. They've got yes, sir. And he is into the end zone for an LSU touchdown. A two yard touchdown run. And LSU adds on to their advantage. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chart. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? The point after is good. And it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Let's go, Oregon. You guys can get on the board. The Oregon offense set to begin their next possession. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And nah, we got the team middle. Script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know? God. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? Let's say it on time out. Back now and get up field, get Should up be field college football rules every first down. Is, uh, to get that lead. Clock stops. Oh, I should have caught a fair So kick. possession goes over here go, on the punt. Go, go. Let's go five wide. We got to be quick. The LSU offense about set to begin their next possession. Seems like five wide is the only one that's going to go actually have, not have you any got the good size lead. Religion. No need to do anything crazy. I still crazy. haven't seen no, streaks really in the game no need yet. To do anything crazy. The smart play. Go ahead and take your lead into the locker room, and then try to add to it in the second half. Yeah, clock stop. There's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way. I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. Yeah, I guess streaks is not playing. Up. You might want to think about them right here. 
Looking to throw. McCoy. Ah, you got to catch that. Incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Landry again, the intended target, but it'll be second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw. But the Ooh. collision came at the nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. From the gun, McCoy escaping the pressure right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the oh, ball come on, into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Make a hit there, man. 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Ducks come up now first and ten. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. That was dumb. Now a timeout taken. Come on now. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Yeah, no Greedy Williams. The final shot before break. Burch. Oh. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. LSU fans saying, Marcus who? They lead big as we reach halftime. Who's up? We up. Who's up? We up. Let's go. Okay. Let's check in with you. How do you feel about the first half? I mean, with the glitch and all, I guess, yeah, I guess he just doesn't exist. <laughs> we might win this thing. It's a lot of wheeze in that sentence. It's a good thing to recognize your teammates, but you remember you're leading the charge tonight, all right? So get out there and let's put this thing away. Second half. Let's go. Coach, really good job out there in the first half. I, uh, I should have trusted you more. That's on me. I'm over it. All that matters is the win. All right. Can you handle it if I open up the playbook a little bit in the second half? Let's do it. Let's get him. Thanks, Coach. Okay, so will they give me more plays right. that I can actually run? <laughs> or does that mean their streaks will actually play? The winner goes on, the loser goes home as we start the second half in this semifinal matchup from Arlington. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. here. This here will go. be a touchback, and here it comes go. out to the 25-yard line. The offense for the Ducks set to take over for their next possession. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they thought they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. Uh, come, come on, back defense. And run essentially Tighten the up. same play again. Continue to move the ball on the ground. Oh, okay. Or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And that full start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. 
Operating from the gun. Good job. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Birch. He's going to air one out for Anderson. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back Stay to the at the same place. <laughs> what playbook did he open up? Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And offensively here, you wouldn't know it by looking at it that Marcus Washington is not in the game. That thought that maybe they would simplify the game plan? <laughs> forget it. Yeah, forget it is right. True that he doesn't have the game reps, but he definitely knows the plays. He's Lewis is definitely years, a linebacker. Totally familiar with his offense, and now he's executing. Yeah, so I guess Streets is just left out. And second and completely. 11 now. McCoy. Yeah, Streets is just glitched out completely. And throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. The offense on third down tonight. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. Operating from the gun, McCoy. And wow. that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Good coverage there. An even 50-yard punt leads to a return of five. Here's a first and 10, Oregon. as they run the counter play. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Mmm, good juice. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Seven yards there and a first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. They'll run. It's easily. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Gonna give this time ah, to the tailback. Good move. And he works his way forward for about four up to the I'm midfield okay. strike. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. BBU. From the gun. Birch. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And a great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. First target, first catch, and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Now a handoff here to his running back. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And he'll give it here to his running back. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. And that is going to do it. 
for this third quarter of action. Back now here on EA Sports as we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. From the gun on third down. Uh, it's a short one good job. To the tight end. Good and job, Gonzalez. And this will be scooped up by the defense. As they say, this game hasn't exactly been one for the books. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here, and now this happens, another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner day. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he claps down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. Now left side on the swing pass. 11 yards there, first down. He continues to make plays, and he looks terrific out there right now. But what I've really liked, the way he's controlled this huddle, playing with a lot of confidence, and that confidence has been transmitted to the rest of the team. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw. McCoy, he's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Again, the underlying story here, no snaps in four years. It seems kind of hard to believe. You almost wonder if there's some type of lingering animosity between quarterback and coach, because there certainly have been a few of those 56 to seven type games over the last few years, but much like the Patriots in the uh -huh. NFL, we nowhere to escape and he goes down. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. Ah, uh, the glitch. Ah, uh, the glitch. I don't know who he is. <laughs> to throw on third down, McCoy. Good check. I just threw it to circle. Since he was on the right side, I just threw the circle. He caught it. Sorry. A good pick up that's there the I guess that's what Street's supposed to be. Big hook up there, right. forced to throw it on So who is actually going to get this ball? I, I'm wondering, who is actually going to get this ball? So just to give y'all a little background of what just happened, man, I was trying to run a jet sweep, and then the system just crashed. So I guess I'll have to redo the whole video. Uh, we'll redo the whole gameplay, so I'm going to do that. And so y'all just go ahead and like and subscribe down at the bottom, man. Appreciate it.